Hello everyone, I'm Terry Neely, your 16th District State Representative. Thank you for joining me on Legislative Update. Less than a month remains of the 105-day session, which is scheduled to end April 24th. Finally, a number of the components necessary to complete this session are beginning to be brought forward. We passed an $8.9 billion transportation budget from the House a few days ago. Due to the declining gas tax revenues and increased costs, this was a no-frills and no-new-taxes transportation budget. It does not contain any new projects. However, it would continue to fund existing projects on the list. For the 16th District, construction on the Burbank Interchange has begun. Funding has been allocated for this project. There's also money for paving Highway 12 from Loudoun to the Nine Mile Creek area. The transportation budget was sent over to the Senate and the Senate has a proposal of its own. So there will still be plenty of negotiations before a final transportation budget is passed and signed by the governor. On March 17th, the state's quarterly revenue forecast was released. This is the report used to write the state's operating budget. The forecast showed expected revenues are down by 778 more million dollars from the last report in November. You've probably heard the governor's budget writers say the state is now facing a $5.1 billion budget deficit. But there's something you probably have not heard. Even with the declining numbers from November, the state of Washington will still be collecting $3.8 billion more in revenue during the upcoming 2011-2013 budget cycle than the previous two years. Yes, you heard that right. The state is expecting 13.8% more revenue over the next two years than the previous two years. So what about the talk of a shortfall? It's the difference between what the state still wants to spend over and above the increase of revenue that it is expecting to take in. So that's something to keep in mind when the operating budget is released to the public. Progress is being made over in the Senate on a bill I sponsored that would allow corrections officers to collect civil judgments from inmates who assault them. House Bill 1334 passed the Senate Human Services and Corrections Committee on March 24th. The bill would set aside between 15 to 20 percent of earnings from inmates who have assaulted an officer. Corrections officers tell me this could ser say, serve as another tool to protect them from assaults. They recognize that giving prisoners who already have lengthy sentences a longer time to serve for engaging in assault is not as effective as hitting them directly in the pocketbook. Other states which have used this law have found it very effective as a deterrent against inmate assaults on prison guards. The measure is now awaiting a vote by the full Senate. There was an amendment that made a small technical correction in the bill. So once the measure passes the Senate, it will have to come back to the House for concurrence. As we approach the final days of this session, I encourage you to pay close attention to the actions of your legislature. There will be many hours of debates and voting on the House floor on issues that could impact you and your family. You can watch the debate on TVW or online at tvw.org. It will be important as we move forward that I hear from you. So please keep in touch by going to my website. You'll see the address on your screen. From there, you can email me. My contact information is on my website as well. So again, thank you very much for joining me on Legislative Update. I'm your state representative, Terry Neely.